What's up guys? So today we're going to talk about a different technique uh, which we haven't mentioned before. This is the reward induced lucid dream, the riled. Uh, now what this involves uh, is you're going to give yourself small rewards or treats every time you have a lucid dream. Okay, and you might be thinking, well why would I do that? Well, uh, the your brain, everyone's brain responds to certain stimulus stimuli. So when you do something, um, let's say when you eat, for example, um, your brain is built, it's created and designed so that it will reinforce that habit because it knows it's good for you. <coughs> so you may have noticed that when you've finished a meal you feel really satisfied and uh, you get a small release of sort of happy hormones in your brain which means you'll want to do it more again. Okay, and this is the same thing for uh, eating, drinking, having sex, uh, and unfortunately for some drugs as well, but you know, that's a different matter. So, what we're going to do with this is we're going to use small rewards, sweets, uh, chocolates, whatever it is, something, watching an episode of your favourite show, um, that sort of thing, to reinforce the idea of lucid dreaming and to make yourself, you're almost training your own brain to do it more in the future. Uh, so that's the basics of it. Uh, and so here's how to do it. So what you do is this, and I should say this runs alongside any other technique that you're going to use. So you could use this along with the way back to bed, the wild, and the mild, whatever. Uh, it works with all of them and it sort of makes them all more effective. So what you do is every time and every time you realise you've lucid dreamed, had a lucid dream, give yourself instantly uh, a reward of some sort. Uh, now this reward can be something small, it can be like a sweet, you could have a, a tub of chocolates or sweets by your bed, um, or it can be something else that you enjoy, it could be you book in a, se a session of rock climbing or you, you know, uh, it should ideally, ideally be something small uh, and inexpensive so that you can do it a lot, um, but also something that you do enjoy and that you will look forward to getting. So. Uh, you may have seen this, like, you know, when we were kids uh, in school. They would give us some sort of sticker or treat or, like, a sweet or something every time we we were good, well behaved, every time we exhibited good behaviour. And the idea behind that was that it was to reinforce that good behaviour. Uh, I believe the psychological term is conditional programming or, or operant conditioning or something like that, um, where you reinforce um, a behaviour by linking it with something positive, with something good, with a reward. Uh, and it actually does work. So what I've, I've found from my own experiences is that when I've linked lucid dreaming with a reward, when I've rewarded myself for doing it, um, my brain responds to that and I end up having more lucid dreams because my brain subconsciously um, will think, oh, I need to have another lucid dream so that I can get that reward again. Okay? And this brings me on to my next point. This only works if you only have the reward when you have lucid dreamed. Okay? If you just have this reward throughout the day or whenever you want, or it's not only linked with lucid dreaming, it's not going to work. So it needs to be something that you only use for lucid dreams. Something that you won't have at any other time. Okay? So it could be a particular type of sweet. Or you could decide that you're going to you're going to allocate your favourite TV show to this, and you're going to say to yourself, "I will only watch an episode of my favourite show when I have had a lucid dream." Okay, and that way it might actually be quite annoying. You might be thinking, "Oh, I really need a lucid dream so that I can watch the TV show." And then when you finally do have a lucid dream, and you reward yourself by letting yourself watch it, then it's going to strengthen the idea in your mind, and it's going to become more likely in the future. So that's that's it, guys. That's basically the technique. Um, the only th sort of warning I'll give you on this one is that you shouldn't do it for a long period of time. Uh, so you shouldn't do this for, I would say, over four months at, at a time. This is something you should do maybe for a month or two um, in a row, max, and then reset it. The reason for this is you don't want to get too dependent on this. You don't want to um, make the link too strong because then you will only lose a dream to get the reward and you know if you stop having the reward you might stop losing a dream which is which is not good 
so use it sparingly especially if you've been in a rut or you've been struggling to have your first lucid dream this is a really good way of breaking through that um, but yeah just be aware that you know if you do it too often the link will become weaker and you'll find that it's actually slowing you down and, and not helping you to lucid dream uh, so yeah be aware of that and that's it guys let me know how you get on leave a comment uh, and please subscribe and I'll see you next time